Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how to cite your sources in a Google document. Let's go ahead and take a look at some options for how to do this. So here's my sample Google document, and I have this fun little joke. What quiz format do cows prefer? Multiple choice. And I want to cite the source for that fun little joke that I have there. This dad joke book is where I got that joke. So I want to cite my source. And to do that, I'm going to go to the tools menu and choose citations. And we can do this in MLA, APA, or Chicago. I'm going to use MLA for this one and add my citation source as a book type. And I'm going to say I access this in print. Here's the actual book in print. Now, I can search by ISBN and see if that gets me what I really need. And let's see if it can find the book. And there it is. Sure enough, has the book that I have right here in my hand. So let's continue. And we can say there's our author. It's already filled in the name for me. And we can see published year, publisher, the title. It's all right there for me. And let's add in that citation. Now let's go ahead there and say cite. Insert work cited. Now, it inserted it right there in the place where I had my cursor. If I want to move it, it's a really simple copy it and then simply paste it in down at the bottom of your document or on a separate page in your document. Now, that worked pretty well for this book here. But let's say I have something that I found online that I want to cite like this quote right here from Federalist paper number five. And I want to cite that source. Well, let's first of all, copy the URL of where I got that source. And now let's go in here and add a citation source. In this case here, we have a website. Let's put in the URL. And we can see right there, it's going to fill in some information for me. Let's continue. Now, contributor, in this case here, well, let's go back up here and take a look. And fill that in. Now, we can say here the Avalon Project is the name of the website, and the Thurl's paper number five is going to fill that in for me. Website title has that all in there. Now, accessed on this day march 14th 2024 let's add that citation source and let's cite it and i want to say i want to copy all that and i'm going to add it down here into my works cited now let's do one more option let's say i found this quote here after reading this paper here that I found through Google Scholar. Well, Google Scholar has a handy little site option for me. And I can then find it right there. There's that citation and I can simply copy that and then add it into my document down below. Now, there are other tools out there for creating a works cited page. One that I like and have used for years is classtools.net. It's a great tool made by a history teacher for students and teachers. And we can see quickly how that works. Let's say I use this Avalon project option again. I'm going to do MLA. Let's put in the link submit and we'll see right there it's going to create a little citation for me now 
I'm obviously going to have to edit this because it doesn't have the page title. I have to adjust some of that information before I put it into my Works Cited page. So that's a short overview of how you can cite your sources in Google Documents. As always, for more things like this, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.